Okay, so in this video I just wanted to document um, some of my more uh, realistic uses of the McGrath Mini amplifier. And I'm going to move this because I see you can't quite see the uh, reverb you're going to go on the screen there. Okay, I'm going to try to raise this up a bit. Yeah, there we go. That's a little better. So this is all the various equipment for today. Uh, so I'll be using my uh, Alesis Nanoverb uh, digital reverb again, and also this uh, preamp here. Uh, it's a tube preamp that I put into a box by myself, as you can see, but it's not my own design. It's a Dynaco Pass 2 preamp from the 1960s, really. Uh, anyway, it's a hi-fi tube preamplifier and I've always used it as kind of a gain stage in front of other tube amplifiers, other distorting amplifiers. It doesn't really have a good distortion sound itself but it boosts the signal just a little bit and gives uh, backs and all boost and cut type tone controls which is useful in shaping the tone and just gives it a tube warmth um, so you'll hear it with and without that. I'm starting out uh, without this plugged in, just going into the McGrath Mini itself. Um, and here it is with just the uh, the single input stage and the power amplifier again, what I call the 5F1 sound. So I'll use that and also the M stage here. It's not fully gained up, but you can you know, it gives a little edge to the sound. Um, so anyway, that's the, the raw amp sound. Now I'll plug through the uh, preamp, pull my guitar cord out of here, run it into the input here. And take this signal now into the amp. By the way, the gain switch on the back here has been up the whole time, and I'm just keeping it up. Uh, so I don't play with all those settings, but that's just how that's set for now. Now we're going through and just the raw amp here, but now with this preamp. And if I turn that up all the way, uh, it's definitely got quite a bit more gain in the ability to overdrive the input stage of this with kind of a rumbly type of distortion, uh, which could have some uses on its own, but if I then put the M stage in, nice and pretty silent, you know? So that's a good sound. Um, so then, uh, you know, in my typical real use of this amp, I will often have the reverb in, which does engage this, uh, this effects loop that takes some signal out, unfortunately, as I demonstrated, but still. <laughs>
get this in, give it even more crazy amounts of gain. Uh, more than I might necessarily use, but it's fun. is the there's a huge amount of gain but it's not too trebly and spiky when I get a lot of gain with just this amp by itself it's uh, can get very fizzy and I like that sound more than some people do but it's it can be too much and too spiky and harsh and with this preamp going into that and each thing not really uh, on full gain, uh, but achieving a lot of gain through partial, multiple partial gain stages in series. <laughs> 